Galaxy's video. Um, today we're just doing a recap of the DX debacle and then I'm just telling you what uh, is going to be up for the channel and the group uh, this coming week. Um, so yeah, unfortunately this DX uh, collectibles thing has gotten crazy. Oh, news of the day, Back to the Future 3 DeLorean uh, thought nobody. Um, crazy, crazy that uh, Hot Toys has done all three DeLoreans. Um, personally, I'm just going to own the one, I think. Um, I just, yeah, don't, don't have the room. And considering the last one was like, well, my original one was 700, I think. Considering that the new one's about a, a grand or 800 when it's discounted or whatever. Um, this one, I don't know how much this one's going to be, but yeah, I think I'm just going to keep. Um, alrighty, so we do have the main thread that I created um, when the admin team read over it. Uh, basically, DX collectibles were going okay. People were receiving figures. It was slightly late, but people people were receiving them. Um, <clears throat> James in the admin team, he ordered um, R5D4 and Lizard Base, I think it was. Um, basically, he asked them if he could pick it up in person because, uh, again, he was kind of skeptical about the deals that were going on and, and the fact that their hot toys were so cheap at different times of the year. Um, so basically, they said, yep, yeah, you can come pick it up. They sent him address, the address he went, um, and you'll see this in the chat. It was a, a empty office. Um, it had a really dodgy note for couriers um, to go elsewhere if they weren't there. Um, and, yeah, uh, there was no one around. He left, he messaged them back, they told him he went to the wrong place. Um, later they admitted that they were just confused because of the way that the photos were taken. Um, but then they ended up shipping it out, and yeah, he got it, he got it in the mail. Um, now just after that, they went a bit quiet. Uh, they weren't really responding to their emails. Um, and then the Facebook group took down, or the Facebook page, sorry, took down the ability to message them. Uh, and... Um, that's when things started going real bad because then people were only able to message the customer service email. Um, when people didn't hear back from that, they messaged the owner. The owner started blocking people. Um, fast forward to late yesterday afternoon. The website is gone. The Facebook um, page for DX is gone. The owner has deleted his own profile. Um, yeah, you, you can't get a hold of anything. Um, now, the other really uh, big thing for concern, uh, so we do have a dedicated chat, so if you aren't in the group, um, do join our dedicated DX Collectibles chat um, for advice and to see what other people are doing. Um, personally, I did not give these guys any of my money. Um, I got, um, I had one issue with Premium Collectibles, which was solved way before they went under. Uh, bulletproof villain. I was lucky enough that as soon as Afterpay uh, couldn't get a hold of the owner, they refunded me, um, and then Bulletproof villain disappeared. Um, unfor yeah, and then um, unfortunately, with the collapse of Big Chief Studios in the UK, um, I'm five hundred dollars down because I don't think I, again because they were overseas. Um, I don't think the Commonwealth Bank can do anything because they've already been liquidated and. The, um, the creditors never actually got back to me when I submitted my paperwork, and it could be because um, the law doesn't apply to me because I'm not a UK citizen. So, um, yeah, I personally, if it's not Amazon, Zing, Pop Culture, Jefferson Tan, or um, I've started looking into Toy Force with Missing Mark Gray, um, if it's not any of that, I'm, yeah, I don't know, maybe the one off. Um, James Old Toys is great, but he's a little market store. Um, it's fantastic, a lot of old stuff. But yeah, basically, if it's a new online retailer, um, I'm not going there. Um, I do buy the odd thing from Toys Buying Agent uh, because they've always proven to be reliable. Um, but I've even heard um, people are still having issues with Toys Wonderland 
and I've heard that pop collectibles are starting to go the same way as Toys Wonderland. Um, don't purchase from Comic Centurion, whatever the hell they're called. Um, that's Toys Wonderland operating under a different name. So yeah, um, if you've got anything, join the chat, see what people say. Uh, we did have Morbius released um, late last night. That was quite cool. Um, I've not actually seen the movie yet, just because I've been really slack. Uh, but I, I he's a, he's a Spidey villain, and I love my Spider-Man villains. So I, I don't know whether I will pick this up or not. Uh, depends what the price is. Um, Jordan Grogu was nice enough to create this for us. Um, he's told you what you can do uh, to maximize your chance of a refund. Um, and again, you can see that even on this thread, there's a whole bunch of people um, giving advice and ideas on what to do. Um, so yeah, uh, Hot Toys teased, I think it's Ash from League of Legends, um, the Indiana Jones game. Um, just trying to find our original. It's alright, it might not have. Might not be here anymore. It's okay. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a shame that this has happened, but again, follow the advice that people are putting out there. See what you can do. Um, hopefully, you can get your money back. Uh, this is the website. They're opening soon. And look, oh, they put a 2024 logo. It's the bastard. Because they were running a 10 day sale, taking everyone's money, apparently. Um, the other really weird thing is um, this bullshit. Uh, don't know if it's going to come up, um, but basically there was an eBay store. Don't think this is it. Yes, uh, this is him. This is DX Collectibles. Five, a hundred percent positive feedbacks. Fifteen items sold. Five followers. Uh, this is DX. This is the stock that they took off the website um, to then list on eBay. Uh, they would notice that a lot of the items they had for pre-order are gone. There's, there's nothing. But yeah, maybe this is the actual items they have, and these are the actual items that they're going to send out. Uh, but yeah, very convenient. I looked at that, $100 for a box of Double Diamond. Um, yeah, so. He did have a box of RBO1, actually. I think it was 120 So um, I'm not taking the chance, but I think the box of RBO1 may have sold because people like reprints. Yeah, RBO1's not here anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, this is him. Because, um, yeah, this popped up uh, straight... Uh, this popped up a couple of hours before the website went down. Um, he also registered it uh, under his um, name. Um, the owner's name is in the group and everything, if you want to see all that. Uh, people have screenshotted his profile before he took it down. Um, do what you will for information. Again, I personally aren't um, getting overly involved. I sent him a message. He never replied. I sent him another message. Um, he locked everything down. Uh, and I sent him a friend request, and that's when I got locked out of being able to see his profile. So um, I attempted to chase him. It didn't didn't eventuate into anything. Um, so yeah, that's um, a shame. Uh, so in terms of this week, um, I did get tracking. Uh, I don't know whether it was for Cobb Van for the Inquisitor, or maybe they did a solid and they put both of them in the one parcel, please. Um, but I, I did get a pending tracking. Um, I've also got my tracking for Doc Ock, and funnily enough, Goblin got dispatched. Uh, the other two um, tracking numbers are still pending. Uh, so when I get them in, I will do the videos for them. Um, super, super excited for this month. Um, don't know. Uh, it'll be good if, if, if Goblin arrives a solid few days before everyone else. That'd be nice. Um, 
So then I can do him, and then I don't know who I'd do after that. I'd probably go, just in terms of keeping the themes together, I'd probably go Goblin, Ock, and then the Star Wars guys. But I'm super keen to get that Inquisitor out of the box, so I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, so far the only one that's actually been posted is the Green Goblin. Uh, so we'll hopefully see him Tuesday if I'm lucky. Um, I am back at work uh, full time next week, slightly next week. So um, my ability to respond to the chats and stuff will be quite limited. Um, I've only really been quite active uh, because of the holiday period. But um, yeah, that all goes away on Tuesday. Uh, it's just when the figures are coming in. Um, but yeah, I will try to <clears throat> get those videos up when I can. Um, other than that, oh, there we go. Perfect time. Uh, it looks like the random Star Wars box has been packed. Uh, hopefully it leaves the warehouse, but being a Friday, I doubt it will. Um, Doc Ock, which was the first tracking number I've got, still hasn't moved. Uh, that's sad. Um, but it's just, who knows how Pop Culture work, honestly. Um, it is what it is. Yeah, 1300. Look at that. That's... Ugh. Um, I will also have Electro, but, um, I got Electro from Jefferson in the group. Um, so he's not back from holidays for another week. Uh, when he gets back, he's going to post it out. So I'm guessing I'll probably have that the first week of February. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on how that's going to go. Um, yeah, in, in terms of like postage time, I mean, um, Australia Post can be quite temperamental. Um, however, I do generally find that whenever it's Jefferson posting things, Australia Post do usually go a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, fingers fingers crossed. Uh, it just depends on how the Australia Day holiday uh, plays with the postage. Might might get it just before, but um, we'll see. Uh, they're the only figures that I've got from this uh, batch. Um, not too interested in Gilgamesh because I'm not sold on Athena yet. I don't really need the Groot. Um, I already have Doctor Strange. I got Doctor Strange from Amazon. Already have Kate Bishop. She she was a TBA purchase. Um, and these guys are just the discounted stuff that's been around for a while now. Um, I also wanted to mention the Iron Man. Um, so he is in. Uh, uh, he is in, but I remembered he still has the stupid amount of batteries. So what happened with 3PO was when C-3PO came into stock, he shipped out about a week to two weeks after everybody else. Um... Now, the first drop is sold out. The second drop is going to be on the 2nd of February. That is really interesting. That was not there previously. Um, so looks like we know when the next batch is going to be in. If that's true, we could be seeing a lot of these guys uh, in February. Um, maybe. I would say definitely. Maybe. Uh, probably still too early. Um, long shot. Long shot. Maybe. If they've got enough stock, we could see him. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was like March, April. Um, we should see the bike. The bike's been out for ages. Um, so yeah, we, we could get that. Um... So if this 2nd of February date is true, um, around then, or oh, well, second drop in February, um, if this February date is true, um, I will do the same thing I usually do. Do the um, original, do the screen grabs, uh, do the video, um, and then update it once it's in stock. But um, yes, this Iron Man, he, so that he probably won't go up. 
Um, that's actually really nice if you still want the um, special discounted price because uh, he has not dropped in Hong Kong. His price is still incredibly high, and I've been told that if you use the pennies to get him to 625, uh, it's a pretty damn good price. Uh, he will jump up to 750 uh, once he does come into stock, um, and it'll take a while. Um, to come back down, I would say. Um, anyway, guys, this has been it. Uh, DX Collectibles, information door, if you will. Hopefully, I get some new toys next week, and I will see you in the videos in the chats. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you found this information helpful.